First thing you want to do is pinch the boot between your thumb and forefinger and just pull it straight out. Then you want to take and you've got that O-ring in there and you want to pop that out. What I have here is some snap ring pliers that I picked up at Master Car. That is the size right there. Um, and I have ground down the tips to fit in these two tiny holes that are in the back of a McClicky switch. And you can see it's got two holes in it. And I've ground those down to where they fit back in there so you can screw it in and out. Also have a pair of standard needle nose pliers, tiny ones that we've done the same thing to with that we were using around the shop. So the first thing you want to do is take and slip these down in here and it screws out just like you're screwing the lid off of a jar counterclockwise. And that's how you take it out. Put that over here with the bad one. Then what I'm going to do is use my flux cleaner, acetone, uh, rubbing alcohol, any solvent like that will work well. Get a little bit on here. And I wanna clean this little landing, this down in here. Because what that does is that landing actually mates up to this mating surface around the edge of the light. So if there's any gunk or anything, you can see on this one, it's got some gunk built up around it. This one is not so bad, but I'll still just kind of go over it real quick. And I'm just cleaning that groove that the O-ring sits in. Then you take, and I use this stuff, deoxid compound, it's a contact enhancer that is commonly used. Um, and what you want to do is just put a little bit of it on that landing in there. Then I'll take the new switch, load it into my snap ring pliers and screw that in. until it stops. What I like to do is get it snug, back it off, get it snug, do that a couple of times so I make sure I get a good connection, then snug it down good. Then, this is, the, this is important, you put the boot in first and just push it down until it's all the way down in there and about as level as you can get it. Then the O-ring, um, if, if the O-ring is really dry, you probably want to lube it just with a little bit of silicone grease or something. And then you just take and push that O-ring back into place and snap it into it looks like that. You always have to put the boot in first. If you put the O-ring in first and then try to get the boot out, and then try to put the, uh, the O-ring in first and then try to put the boot in over it, it won't work, you'll lose your boot because you can't get it underneath that o-ring and now i'm going to and now it's good to go